Welcome back, everyone! This is Geronitis bringing you... The Psychiatric War. Agrarian Skies 2, otherwise again. known as... Again. <laughs> how long have you been thinking about how to go with another section of... again, Or twice, or two, or dose, or doubled, or... Oh, wait, wait, you haven't used doubled, have we? Nope. Ah, I did. I or squared. I okay. Anyway, we're back with Agrarian Skies. Uh, we've done a couple of little things in between episodes. Max has gone insane, but that's normal for Max. Oh, oh, oh. So we have our mascot I'm now. Normal. We have Fred. It says, beware of the mascot. And up here we have our <laughs> tiny potatoes that says our mascot can do the thing. And then here <laughs> he's kind of cute. <laughs> This is Fred. Fred is our mascot now. He is completely encased in tar in the warded glass, and he will forever be ours. I should have named him Squishy, because he can be our he can Squishy. Be our squishy. <laughs> and we shall call him Squishy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so um, <laughs> Max, in between episodes, because he said we don't have enough ores, made an oreberry farm underneath all his obsidian. Sure, why not? Because we took too long in between episodes. He's like, dang it, I want to play. So now we have an Orberry farm. So, yeah. That we needed. Yes, so many ores that we just did not have. Max also has assembled the big reactor. A good start. What in the world are you... Okay, power tap, flux duct. You've got access port for... Export and okay, yeah, here we yeah, Okay, that's not too bad. Um, but Max is telling me that it's all my fault. He doesn't have any gelid cryothium to put inside there to make it best. Yeah. So because of that, we are going to start fixing ourselves up with some bl uh, blizzes. Blizzes. If you fly around and find a frost biome, we could do this. But we're not doing that. We're going to take this thomium barrel, and we are going to use this freezing doll which is actually very easy to make. And we are going to throw my mana tablet at it. No, there we go. Uh, anyway, so a freezing doll in a thomium barrel full of water will get us a blizz. And I hopefully have got this on capture mode. Honey, you don't want to be there right now. Oh, I'm leaving. <laughs> when this thing summons, I'm going to catch it in the safari net. And we should be able, then, be able to then start auto-spawning them. And Max can then kill them to his heart's content. I'll be in the house with the door shut. Does anybody have any idea what happens to a blizz if it touches, uh... Witch water? Because witch water changes, like, all sorts of things. Mm, I don't witch know. Water? That water. They may not have, uh... They may not have programmed in anything but vanilla mobs. That would make sense, actually. Alright, 92, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Okay. For a second there, I thought it didn't work. It bounced off him, and he was still standing there. I was like, what? No! All right, Max, come here. Oh. I'm what? way away. Well, that's... I'm a coming. I'm a coming, boss! Hang All in right. there. You know where we had the slime spawning before? Yes. That That is now going to spawn blizzes. All right. So you can either stay up there and shoot them... Or you can come down here and hit them with your cleaver or whatever. And these will drop your blizz powder and some snow and stuff. And that should take care of your blizz powder situation. Good. Cool? Very good. Thank you. Good. Now, when you want it to finally stop spawning them, you can... Did that... Was that a frozen bone? Oh, no. Is it... Okay. It's just a blizz rod. It looks like a... Um... It looked like a um, necrotic bone, only blue. I thought that's what I saw. By the way, Max, these guys can fly, so, you know, try to contain them to a certain extent. Okay, well, shut her down for now, because I got no weapons on me. What do you mean you don't have any weapons? Oh! Yay! I have a new head for this episode. I am now Blizzman. Are they still dangerous, or have y'all got them contained? Um, no, there's two of them running around outside right now. I'll be in the house. They're dead. 
so, I yeah. was trying to work on your uh, piping. Yeah. As it oh, were. By the way, I um, appreciate that. Guys, I discovered that um, superior capacity runes are actually better than the augmented capacity runes. I, I think the last episode I looked at them and I was like, nah. But, um, you know, I built the capacity to this thing. And its capacity was, I think, like 60 or 80-something thousand. Um, anyway, so my understanding is that once you reach, I think it's either 16 or 26 or something like that, when you have more superior capacity runes, uh, you actually start getting a lot higher capacity from them. So we had like 60,000, but now we have uh, 309,000. And all we did was take the augmented capacity runes and swap them out for the superior capacity runes. So, yeah, that's a pretty big difference. So, um, they do cost a little bit more to make, but I'd say it's worth it. You say so, boss. I do, I do. Something, something, Mr. Magoo. I don't know. I just tried to rhyme something. I don't know why I even bothered. All right, so today I am Blizzman. Okay, um, so last episode we discovered that we needed to uh, get a demon shard to make our next blood orb and start storing more blood that way. So I'm going to need some plinths, I think they're called. Yes, an arcane plinth, which is arcane pedestals, which is... Oh my god, where are we going to get weak blood shards? Oh my god, I just shift-clicked and made 64 things because... How, how long have you had those weak blood shards? Oh, about a week. R R R. R R R. Green giant. Can I go home now? No. No peep. All right, Elroy, do you remember how the spread for these things is? For what? To summon the demons. D tier six? No, what? just just the demon summoning thing. Is this uh, it? This looks right. Where are you? I think that's right. We're gonna go with that being right. I forgot that we needed to make some other things that are going to. What the heck has hit me? Hey, our guy is gone. Yes, it's good. The, what guy? The 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 George. The mascot? George, George Bob. No, the. Brent. Ah! The... <laughs> I don't know. The thing! What is he called? They're the monsters. Picker. Yes, the peck. We lost our peck. We lost Gregory? Was it Greg? No. No, it was Booba, I think. Bubba! That's right, Bubba. it was Bubba. I just uh, got lost his peck and Max lost his peck. Greg Gregory Peck. I like Gregory Peck. Alright, so anyway, I'm going to need another... Thing. Oh my god! Because when I stop, that's that's. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make myself another master blood orb, real quick, and I'm going to need um, Elroy. What's that blood magic thing that lets you brew? Uh, brewer? No, but not from blood magic. Alchemical catalyst, I think. No Alchemical day. chemistry set. That's what it is. Yeah. I knew that. All right, so we should be able to toss one of those together real quick. So we're going to need... Oh, man, we're going to have to do a lot of alchemical chemistry. Um, I don't remember how to filter the annihilation plane. You don't know how to filter the annihilation plane? I don't remember to filter the living rock and living wood. What? Dang it, Elroy! What? We've got no cobblestone in the system. Because you're constantly... I will fix that. Uh, no. Yes. Someone hooked it up. Not me. Sure. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we're no longer exporting cobble then? No. Uh, okay, because I'm, I'm like, I need to make a uh, brewing stand. <laughs> There's one piece of cobble in the system. Max, I thought your thing was mining. It is. Well, apparently not, because we don't have any cobble. You're making all the cobble down here. Oh, you must be about out of power, because you're really... Your cobble's being made, but it's very slow. 
Yeah, it's night time, so he's out of power. Yeah, well, that'll be all right, though. All right, I should be able to put this here, and yay! And, um, a chemical chemistry set. Okay, does anybody remember how to make any of these things with the alchemical chemistry set thing? Nope. Yeah. Elroy knows. Okay. Elroy, I want to make aether. I'm sleeping, by the way. Oh. Uh, that's... Oh, you're waiting for somebody else to sleep. Yeah. Some Maybe. Somebody, somebody should really get on that. <laughs> All right, so oh, we need the simple catalysts. Okay, redstone, gunpowder, glowstone, and sugar. Uh, YouTube, I'm gonna make a stack of these, <laughs> and I'm gonna go sleep. So I'll I'll shut up. I'll be back Thank in a you. minute. Actually, the sun just came up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go sleep. And the, the system's like, no, you're not. Okay, so we'll be back in just a second after I make myself some of these things. All right, we're back. Um, while I was waiting for this stack to craft, I decided that I don't really like the idea of having to wait for these things to craft. Um, I've done automated alchemy before on my single player game, and I did it really intelligently in a really careful way. Um, I've decided that I'm going to do it in a really silly way and make it dirty, messy, and just, well, simpler, really. So I'm going to run some dense cable off over here. Uh, this is currently got, going into the controller, 17 of 32, so I should be able to get this done without running out of any channels. But I'm going to run this dense over this way, and we're going to automate alchemy using only applied energistics and blood magic. Um, I gave this some general thought, but I may not have thought it through enough. Uh, so this could turn out disastrous, but it could turn out really nicely. So we're just going to see what happens. All right, so let's see. Um, we're going to put these... Yeah, sure. Here, 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 and here. Yeah, that should work. All right, each of these gets a blood orb, which I made ahead of time. Only I made one too few because I'm a doofus. That's okay, I'll steal this one. I don't actually need all these yet. Uh, we're gonna automate just one or two of them first, and then after that, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll add in as we make more stuff. Because uh, from what I remember, we're gonna have to make a lot of stuff when we go to making the tier six altar. We're gonna have to do a lot of automated alchemy. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered with this, because I mean, if I just needed one demon blood shard, that's, you know, la di da, who cares? Come on, finish up. So we're going to do this with um, item ducts, servos, export buses, and storage buses. Yeah. All right, now, I've never done this before, but I think we have to input items to the bottom of the alchemic chemistry set. So that being the case, I'm going to run some cable down, and we're going to go under the ground here. Oh, that might be a problem. I don't know. Let's see. How bad is it down here? Uh, I should be able to work with this. If I can get through. There we go. Okay, so we got one chemistry set there. 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 And there. Sweet. All right, so um, do you guys know if we have any normal cable? I made some dents. Oh, yeah, we got 160. Excellent. All right, so now we're going to take these export buses. And we'll do the first one first because it's going to require us to have it. Um, right there. We're going to export that there. And here we're going to need... Hey, I guess I'm going to need a capacity card. Yeah. We have acceleration and crafting cards and 58 advanced cards. That's my fault for shift clicking and no, I didn't just tell you guys about that. Let's see, where, where, here we go. I think this will work rather nicely. Um, capacity card, go. Oh, 
Okay, basic card, go. Alright, and then this is going to be sugar. We're going to need a sugar cane farm back up and running, by the way. I'm working on it. Redstone. Oh, really? Let's see. Redstone, sugar, gunpowder. I have a red. I have a uh, sugar cane farm up and running. Right. If I hook it up to the ME system, it'll be running again. Oh, oh right. Say. Never mind. Don't I'm mind okay. me. I'm just lost. It's okay. Okay, so now what I should be able to do by going underneath. Hopefully this is going to work. I'm not actually sure it's going to. If this doesn't work, then I'm going to be like, haha, I made you guys then think I thought that was going to work. Then you're going to blame it on Elroy. Yeah, hey, that works. I'm going to be like, haha, you guys actually thought that I thought that was going to work. It was all a joke. Export that, 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 and that. And that should be all I need. Why isn't it... <laughs> Why isn't it working? Maybe if I actually hooked up the ME cable. That, that would be a start. I don't understand why this isn't exporting the stuff I told it to export. If it was actually hooked up to a cable, there might have been a chance. Okay, so... Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Either I did this wrong... Or it's not letting me use the export bus to export into the chemistry set. Oh, come on, guys. I swore you had to export the stuff into the bottom. Maybe Already, I'm, then. Maybe I'm mistaken about the export location. Alright, well, let's try this then. First off. Let's take out that so it'll stop functioning. And maybe you have to export into the side. I'm fairly certain you can auto export into these things. I, I mean, I think I've hooked hoppers into them before. So, I mean, if you can hook a hopper in, then you can make this work. All right, so let's see. Let's do it this way instead. No side please thank you and do this this and this one capacity card and then redstone yes okay so it will work that way I'm going to need some acceleration cards and Let's do this. Two acceleration cards, and that should work. Swap that over to there. And now, in theory, when these fill, it should go ahead and move on to the others. Yep, there it goes. Glowstone. Then sugar. And booyah. Okay, so now this is constantly running. Excellent. Good. Okay, so we're going to need some item ducts next. Uh, item duct. Uh, item duct will be fine. It doesn't have to be impulse. But don't, don't we have a bunch of impulse item ducts? Yes, I do, actually. Where are you at? I'll throw them in the Emmy. It, it doesn't really matter. There's I, a stack. There's a stack in the Emmy. Yeah, but those are opaque. Well, wait a second. I've got... No, Max, it's okay. <laughs> I've got them. Because I, I'm sure I've got you do, but... they're sitting in my inventory. I know, it's okay. Making them. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm making them. I just don't have. To, I just don't have to make them opaque. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna put that there. And then we're gonna put the item duct here. And now I need servos. Tom servo. Is that actually a thing? Yeah. You don't watch Mike uh, Mystery Science Theater. Who? Three thousand. Who? You know. No, I actually don't. Oh. Okay, so this is going to be on a whitelist, and we're going to only take out simple catalysts. Why I'm using a resonant servo, I have no idea. It 
seemed like a great idea at the time. You mean you had a great idea? No, apparently not, because it's not working. <laughs> okay, so okay, so I'm gonna guess that this is gonna have to also be done at the side. So in that case, we're gonna do this to here, and we'll swap the servo over here, and we will say that on a whitelist and go. not working okay well in that case maybe you have to extract from the bottom where's my wrench somebody talk about something interesting I'm doing boring things and it's taking up time oh you know when wrenches were first invented okay never mind we can just skip ahead and <laughs> we still love you Bex well actually I, I find myself curious now when were wrenches invented <laughs> uh, at the first grassy knoll and they ran through it and didn't see that there was a big dip because of the grassy knoll they twist their leg wrenching it booyah Booyah. Yeah, booyah. All right. Did, did you booyah me? Yes. No. What? Huh? I Who's that talking? It. I got it. Okay, cool. So we, you export them from the bottom. So then we're going to do that. Sounds uncomfortable. And we're going to do this. So now if we look in the ME system, we should show catalysts. All right, cool. Now, I don't want, see, I want to have simple catalysts available and I need them to be able to be exported from the system, but I don't want them to stack up infinitely. So clear partition storage. There we go, based on what's already in there. So this way, because if I put a barrel, it'll keep 64 stacks. I don't want 64 stacks. So Why instead, not? it's excessive. So now we're going to keep a what's Basically, excessive mean? 27 stacks of simple catalysts that's still excessive but i mean i could make i don't know should i make all right should i make a special chest to hold less than a normal chest does from the special chest maker that way i don't store too many of these things or do how you many know chests way, do you have do you know you... a way that will only let it keep oh wait a minute i can use the resonant servo for that can't i i can tell the resonant servo to only keep one stack of an item up here can't i um, you could try. Yeah. But you can also do that. Oh, I, I was just about to do... Really? <laughs> food? You, the thing you I, choose is food? I, really? I don't have anything else to do with. <laughs> like we, we got thousands of... We'll use oak wood, okay? We got 8,000 oak wood. But uh, yeah, actually, that's perfect. That way, it actually will turn off. We will keep four stacks of simple catalysts always available to be used. We don't even really need to have four stacks, but whatever. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up the recipe for Aether. And that's going to require simple catalysts, glowstone, feathers, and gas tears. And I'm going to set that up over here and have it export exactly the same. So like I said, this isn't going to be pretty. I would have no intention of this being pretty. But it will be functional, and I like that. So give me just a second. I'm going to move a little bit of this. Uh, God, every time I see Fred's name pop up, I'm like, nah, why is there a boss bar? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this dense cable a little bit closer just because I don't need to have it further away. And we're going to go ahead and hook up this one to make Aether. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, very simple to do that. Uh, we are going to run out of feathers, uh, so we're going to have to do something about feathers. We'll need a feather farm. So, Elroy, get a bunch of chickens and put them on a hopper and yeah, have it void, void everything but the feathers. Um, <clears throat> but we'll get to that in a minute. So I decided to go ahead and use this chest as the gathering point. 
we're going to keep two stacks of simple catalysts, which actually, realistically, it'll build up a set in here as well. So we'll actually have three stacks. And this chest will have a stack of aether, but then it will also build up here. So we'll actually have two stacks of aether. And then as we need to make each of the other ones, we should be able to go ahead and put them on through down the line. And worst case scenario, see right now we're using five channels. I was going to do a chest and a storage bus for each, but why should I do that? I can just use the one. Uh, anyway, so that should leave us with plenty of channels still left over. Yeah, 23 of 32. We've got nine channels left. So we can always put another uh, five of these off to the side here. Because I don't remember what it takes to make a tier six altar. I know you have to make a whole bunch of different catalysts and whatnot. But this is how we're going to automate all that stuff because I just wanted to automate it using just AE. And it, it was the, it struck my fancy to do so. So, uh, guys, if you ever take from this chest, make sure you always leave one of something behind to hold the slot. Because otherwise it will mess up the whole system. All right? Okay. All right, so okay. who wants who wants to kill a boss? What? They do. They do. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly the correct amount of delay before saying anything useful. I was waiting for them to say something, and they didn't. Yeah, yeah I, I noticed that, too. Okay, I need... Do I have another... I seem to constantly be needing another blood orb. I'm just going to set, like, a stack of stupid blood shards here and just let them make... But they don't stack, so that's kind of annoying. Anyway, so who's ready to... Uh, kill a boss they are they are it, who, it who, will probably be as hard as a wither i was about to say who thinks the boss is going to die in a single shot of a bow who will be the first to hit it yeah everyone stand here we're gonna take pot shots at the poor sucker all right if everyone okay it's just me where are you at we are on <laughs> sub basement three uh sub basement two actually can you give me just one second? <laughs> it might crash the server. Why? Direwolf crashed. Did he? Yeah. Huh. The first time he summoned the bus, after that he was okay. That's weird. But we don't have the same version as he does, so I don't know. Okay, well, we're going to do it without Max because he's taking forever. Okay. Thanks, guys. Wait when you will be his age. You will take forever, too. <laughs> Are you calling him old? No. Are you saying he's a very young person who should very quickly move? I don't know. Forget it. Never mind. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of, I was like, um, um, wow, my foot tastes on, good. Right um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Hey, have you got your cryothium made yet? Why isn't your Come stuff Come on, working? let's kill this no, sucker. I'm... Okay, lightning, here we go. No, 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 no. You said you're on the bottom level. Yes. Where on the bottom level? In the corner. Um, where in what corner? Lightning. The, the southwest corner. Where lightnings. Where are you? <laughs> My kill the follow, wither. Follow the lightning. You think the lightning could kill the wither? I don't know. All right, here we go. He's going to pop out of the center. And boom! And boom! <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. Alrighty, that was fun. What do you say we try this again? You Ooh. broke the universe. Preferably with me overland. Yes. Well. <laughs> oh gosh, were you in the air when you spawned <laughs> back in? Yes, I was. <laughs> okay, so the server. If the server crashes again, we'll have to choose a different guardian to fight. Boom! Okay, we're not going to be summoning this guy ever again. Be back again! Alrighty, uh, that was fun. So, we're not sure if it's just the air elemental or any elemental. So, just for fun, I went ahead and set up this other one. Uh, two coal, clay, simple catalyst, and obsidian is going to make us tenebre. And tenebre will summon the dark version of the elementals. Uh, if this crashes the server, we're going to end the episode here. And in between episodes, we will um, update right. the pack. But right. I'm also going to cheat in a, uh, a soul shard just because. Um, well, actually, no. In we'll end it here. And if it 
and we'll update the pack. We'll come back and it will in between episodes, we'll check and see if it crashes with the pack updated. And if it still crashes with the pack updated, we'll start next episode by cheating in the uh, the shard. All right, here we go. Cross your fingers that we don't have a server closed because I will end the episode on a server closed screen. I, I will. I don't want to, but I will. And... Oh. Yep. All right, guys. Until next time, this is Jerninus signing off on episode 20 of our Grand Skies 2 series. Uh, we'll see how this works out next time. I don't want to cheat in stuff, but, uh, well, so be it. So, until next time, help spread the gaming! And don't choke. Don't. Server sure. Choke. That. The server choke. The server choke. <laughs> Good night, everybody! <laughs>